It's sunny Sunday afternoon. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. It's pretty here today. It's not quite as humid right now. It doesn't feel like it. I'm headed down to the shop. My husband is going to make like a little ladder type roost bar for the chickens. They are currently living on the right side of the chicken coop. We've got it divided up. They're starting to get a little bit bigger now and they need somewhere to roost. I haven't got it opened up to the coop part. They just have like a big run and I thought it would be pretty cool to make like a little ladder for them. Something um, that they could roost on and play on. All right, so let's go figure this out. Let's see if I can implement my idea. I really don't know exactly what I want. I know what I want, but I don't know the dimensions of it. I want it to hang like flat like this where the little ladder thingies are like this. And it's gonna be hanging from the chains. And then if I wanna take one side down, it can like go like this. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so. Hmm. I don't we gotta fit, we gotta configure it, here. Huh? You make it stand. It's got four legs. All right, I think we got it figured out. Me and Eli had to mull on it for a few minutes. We had to kind of get some measurements and figure out how big we needed it, but I think it's going to be pretty cool. So it's going to be a little versatile type system and I'm going to put it on some pulleys eventually. I got to get some more. I have a few down here, but I need to get some more. But in the meantime, we'll probably put it on some chain, but it's going to be versatile. I'm going to be able to move it up and down. And if I want one side down like a ladder, I can. If it needs to be lower for certain chicks, higher when they get bigger. So I think it's going to be pretty cool. I think they're going to like it. They'll be able to sleep on it, play on it, hang out on it. So I will meet you guys back whenever we get it ready. Eli's up there ripping some boards and then we'll get it put together. I gotta find some hooks too. Eli has built my ladder. I'm pretty excited. He did a good job. All right. Hold that up and I'll get that one end and raise it up a little bit. We can kind of level it off as I fall and break my neck on this. <laughs> It'll be about here. It'll be like right there. And then essentially I can go get some more of these little pulleys that I use for my plant lights because they're really easy to move up and down. Okay, that's like a swing. You all got a ladder swing. You did a good job. Thank you so much for building that for me. I love you. Yeah, love you too. Okay. The chickens will be very happy about it tonight. Well, they're already eyeballing it. <laughs> they're looking at it. Good afternoon. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It is warming up here in East Tennessee and I have got to do corn, but luckily that is going to be an inside project for a little bit. I'm going to try to get that done and then after dinner when the sun goes down a little bit, I'm going to plant beans. My father-in-law is supposed to head down to the garden and get it tilled, so that is the plan, but right now it would be way too hot to plant beans. So. I'm gonna try to get this corn done. I picked it last night, what was left. I don't think there's a whole lot of it left. And I've gotta go next door and get the silker from my mother-in-law. And I'll be back in the kitchen. I'll take you guys with me. All right, I've made it back to my kitchen. And I'm, I'm actually very thankful that I'm in here today because it is, it's getting pretty hot outside. And this is really a good time to, to do something inside. So I've got a small bag of corn that was left over. I just didn't want it to go to waste, but it wasn't 
quite ready the other day when me and my mother-in-law were working on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to do it with the process that me and her did the other day. I'm preparing it to be frozen over the winter. That way it's already cooked and bagged. And really, it's so easy just to open up a bag for dinner, heat it up, put some butter in it and some salt, and it's ready. So that is the way I prepare it. I'm sure there are other ways to do it. You could probably can it. I've not done that. And the next thing on my list after getting these green beans planted is canning some potatoes. Now I did not can potatoes last year. I stored them in my basement. And what I concluded was it was just a little bit too warm for storing them in my basement here in East Tennessee. My basement, it probably ranges from probably 55 to 65 in the winter. And my potatoes shrunk and they grew a bunch of little eyes all over them. Now that's what I used to to plant in my garden this year and I got a, hopefully a whole bunch of harvest down there from them. But as far as storing them and being able to eat them, that wasn't the case and I was a little sad about it because they were super good when I was eating them in the summer. So I have never canned potatoes and that is something I'm gonna try probably on the next couple videos you'll be seeing that. So we'll just be trying that out together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to silk this corn. It still has all the little strings in it and we don't want those in there. Now it's sometimes hard to get all these little strings off here. Um, it never fails that after I cook some of them, we eat them. So I'm like, oh, you left one on there. <laughs> yes, I did. I'm gonna get the most part that I can and then we'll go ahead and cut the, the corn off the cob. And it's pretty corn, it's peaches and cream. Now, be prepared to get a little messy when you make corn. I didn't film it the other day when my mother-in-law and I were doing it. She didn't wanna be on camera and I wanted to respect that. But oh my goodness, we were in the kitchen and we were cutting off corn and it was just flying everywhere, the juices. And then she was filling up one of the bags full of the extra corn cobs and we picked up the bag and the whole bottom fell out so there was corn all over the floor. And after we got that cleaned up, I dropped some all over the floor. And then she dropped some in the stove aisle when we were cooking it and then I did too and I had it on my shoes and she had it on her glasses. It was just a hot mess and it was actually kind of comical. I wish you guys could have seen it but it was some good memories. It's so much more fun to do this with somebody else. Like, like I wish my mom lived next door to me because me and her would be doing this together. We just have a good time doing stuff like that. Hopefully my mom and dad could live beside us one day. That would be awesome. Now she just told me to scrape over the cob and get all that little loose stuff and a little bit of the juices and put it in here. All right, I've got the corn cut off. Not a whole lot, but you know, don't want it to go to waste. All right, I'm gonna turn it to a high heat until it warms up pretty good. Almost comes to a boil. So I'm gonna add some water so it doesn't burn. And then once it starts kind of boiling on the bottom, then I'm gonna turn the heat down to about medium and then just make sure it doesn't start sticking. And if it does, you'll add a little bit more water and cook it for about 10 minutes. And then we'll just take it out and let it cool. My father-in-law's down there trying to get those corn stalks up. I think he's taking a break because it's hot. I'm just gonna plant probably two full rows of beans and then I'll probably buy 100 feet of beans. <laughs> And I'll just can them all because beans will last. I have some beans in my pantry. They're like three years old and we've eat them and they're fine. They're good actually. So um, like I said, I'm getting kind of low. We may have to go down there around the clock and, and take time about and watch the beans at night and make sure no critters are getting there and getting them. <laughs> oh, that would be annoying. We'll call it bean watch. If y'all want to come over and take a 12 hour block, let me know. <laughs> Okay, the corn is cooked. I'm going to put it in these little bowls right here and let it cool. And then once it's cool, I'm gonna bag it and put it in the freezer. Easy as that. All finished. Um, this was really actually fairly easy. There are several steps and it can be messy, but you have corn all winter long. We probably got about 12 dozen ears of corn which made quite a few bags of corn, so that's gonna be quite a few meals over the winter times. So consider growing corn and preserving it. It's a nice quick meal and it tastes so good. It's not like the corn in the grocery store you get in a can. It's so much better than that, even after it's been frozen. But also, if you don't have a garden, then maybe somebody in your area has a local farm that sells it. That would even be 10 times better than going to buy it at the grocery store. 
And I know my mom, she goes to like a local Amish farm and they get a lot of corn there too. So look into that. That's definitely something you can do if you don't have a garden or the space to have one. All right, Papa's made it on the tractor. He's getting the rows going. Y'all, it looks like it's gonna rain. Mother Nature is not wanting me to get these beans put in the ground. <laughs> They're just, it's really not. It's really been trying to work against me. Um, hmm. Well, I don't know. I may be putting them in a wet, muddy ground tonight. On another note, someone has given us a lot of wood, already pre-cut. Somebody we know, um, they were moving and they weren't gonna be using their wood stove anymore. So we have got a ton of wood for next winter. My husband's not even gonna have to cut any next year. Amazing and humongous blessing. So that's pretty cool. I think my father-in-law is about done with this garden. I'm gonna head up and rest a little bit, have dinner, and then I may see you guys again at the beans on this video, or it may be the next video, so stay tuned. I may be planting beans in the rain. It'll be a first. I think it's gonna rain. I'm right here. I think it's gonna rain. Yeah, I believe so too. I don't think Mother Nature's wanting me to get these beans in the ground. <laughs> well, Uncle Rick's done his part. All right, it's thundering. Sky's looking black. That's my call to go in. Oh wow, look at the sunflower, y'all. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, look. Gorgeous.